Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and today we're going to be tying up the Dalai Lama. And uh, for people in the lower 48, they probably haven't heard about this fly maybe as much, or it might be more of a sleeper. But up in Alaska, this fly has been a staple in fly anglers' boxes for uh, quite some time. Uh, so here's a white one. Uh, it's two bunny strips that are tied in uh, with a stinger hook, and uh, there's usually a pretty heavy cone on it. This is one of the smaller sizes that you'll see. Here's one that gets thrown for salmon um, in uh, pink and chartreuse. And pink over white is really popular as well. Um, and, uh, but for big Alaskan rainbows, uh, stuff like this is great, black and, um, and olive. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, hey, that might work on some fish here at home for bass or for trout. And it will. So um, it's, a, it's a great pattern that I think is, especially for us here in Western Washington, uh, is uh, an under um, underutilized and underestimated fly. So um, it's not incredibly difficult to tie up, just has a few steps in it, just getting the stinger line um, with the hook rigged, uh, but you can do it. So let's, uh, let's go by it step by step. Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna go over the material list and I forgot to go over the material list because it's that easy. It's that easy to forget. So what we're gonna tie up is with white rabbit, olive rabbit, and we're gonna have this Mirage Flash. Uh, a package usually comes with a lot more on it than this, but this has been well used. Uh, and then other than that, we're gonna be using some, um, some uh, uh, Power Pro uh, braid for uh, the Stinger line. You can use Fire Line, um, all sorts of different stuff. We're gonna have a hook that we cut on the front. We're gonna have an octopus hook for a Stinger, and we're gonna put a cone head on it, and that's it. So now let's get tying. Okay, we're gonna tie the rabbit here underneath the hook. And you can, you can uh, tie this rabbit in by uh, poking the rabbit hide through the, uh, through the hook point. But I think for this fly, I don't think it really matters. I like to just have it kind of quick and done. Okay, now I'll take my 50 pound Power Pro and I'm gonna feed both of those pieces through the eye of the hook. Loop them around that line and then I wanna make sure that that the material, that that, uh, I wanna make sure that that Pro, Power Pro doesn't, I don't want to fold over on the, the line but just over the eye of the hook. And then we're gonna take this out of the vise. Okay, so now we're gonna attach our Power Pro to the hook shank. And um, one of the things I like to do is just, um, since I'm gonna be feeding the feeding the cone head on here, I open it up, I pinch the barb down. Sometimes these cone heads, um, some of these cone heads will get a little nick in them from a. Uh, if, if it doesn't slide around that barb all the way and it can damage the, the cone head and cut your thread and it's just a little frustrating. So I always just kind of do that. I would used to run the line up through the cone, down through the eye and then back through the cone, uh, but then just figured out this new way to do it. So um, Okay, here's the easiest way to get this line through the cone and onto the hook. So I put it through the cone first. I then take the line and I put it through the eye of the hook. And then at this point, I'm gonna take, take that line, put it back through the cone. Now this way it's easier to get that line through the cone without that hook shank being there. If that hook shank's in there, sometimes it's really hard to get that material 
back through back through the the cone so now I just take my cone and I put it onto the hook like I normally would and then I pull the th uh, pull the braid to pull that hook in place and then I can put the hook back into the jaws. Now I might just have to move this this uh, stuff around a little bit here just to get it in position and get any tangles out, but that's gonna be pretty set. If you need to adjust, you can slide the cone back, which loosens up the tension to be able to feed some line through and pull line, etc. So now I just need to attach the braid to the hook, and I'm going to, I'm using uh, gel spun. Now you want to tug, give a little tug to the to the braid because you want to pull tight to that eye so that there's room to get your, uh, your leader material through there. And then crank down nice and hard with the gel spun. Okay, now I'm gonna move my thread back to where I'm gonna tie the rabbit in. And before I do that, I'm gonna just put a little bit of this Loon UV Flow on those thread wraps. The flow soaks in really well, it's like water. So I let it sit there for just a little bit, for a second, then hit it with the light. Okay, so now I'm gonna tie in my rabbit Okay, I'm gonna move my thread up towards the, uh, the cone, and then I'm gonna spiral, spiral wrap the rabbit. Just over itself. Then when it gets close to that cone, I wanna kinda Get that material in there. Okay, now I'm gonna tie in this white and I want the white to go right to right to before that hook. It's probably about there. What I'll do is I'll push that rabbit with the bodkin up into the cone. A couple loose wraps, to kind of hold it in place. Then you can even push it in there, make sure it's not coming out. A couple strong wraps. So now I'm going to tie in this, uh, tie in my flash.
Okay, and then last, I just need to cut my hook. The key is to not cut it too far back. You wanna, you wanna leave that, leave it down on the, down the bend just a little bit so it doesn't unwind on you. Okay, there's the Dalai Lama. This is a super effective fly for rainbows in Alaska as well as uh, Montana and here in Washington. Uh, we got materials in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to get updated on all the other videos we have coming out. And I hope you hook a big one this summer on this fly. Thanks for joining us.